Carroll wanted to be on the water. I wanted net zero performance. Dan and Carol were, were great to work with. They, they're very involved in the house. They told me what they wanted in the house, what they how they wanted to live, and they were on board with everything. So I became something of a building science buff. I really appreciate the way high performance homes are built and why they perform as they do. I think it's just quality in a bunch of different ways, not just energy efficiency. This home has some features that aren't in all homes. We pay a lot of attention to the air sealing in the house. So the house is very tight, which means you need a, a ventilation system. The house has triple glazed windows. The triple glazing increases the inside temperature. So when you stand or sit next to a window, you're not cold. I love the windows. We wanted a lot of south-facing windows and yeah, a bunch of windows. lights and we've got a loft so when you're on the first floor you can see just two stories worth of light pouring in. Well, the house has very little thermal bridging which means there's no heat going from inside to outside. We do a double stud wall so there's a space in between the two walls. This home has uh, a super insulated thermal boundary and then by reducing the heating and cooling load they can put in mini split heat pumps, all Energy Star appliances and basically be an all-electric house. In order to build on this loft we were obligated to restore the wetland buffer. The lot had a big challenge. We couldn't have done anything modular or anything. We have built an elevated home. A little unusual in that there wasn't a basement. We couldn't work off the ground. The first floor is 10 feet off the ground in the, in the side of the back of the house. So that was a little bit of a, of a challenge. That was both a, kind of a, a worry about protecting it from flooding as well as you don't want the home to be too high. The foundation has to be built so the water can flow freely through it. So there were three separate walls, and when we were starting construction in the spring, we had the, the backyard was full of water, there was water under the house, so we saw what that was actually going to be like. We also included friends in the project. I have a friend who welds pieces of furniture. He does mainly table legs, but he also does shelf brackets. Mm -hmm. So we had him fabricate scores of shelf brackets for the whole house. And then it was about Carol and I also working together. We went out and sourced a bunch of cherry wood that we worked on together and turned them into coffee tables and shelving. The floor framing in this house and the floor insulation is unique to this house. This house, before renewables, has a HERS index of 44. You know, once the PV is added, it goes from a HERS index of 44 down to a negative three. It's important to make a better house because it's more comfortable to live in without worrying about drafts, overheating, being too cold, having a really high energy bill. When people are, are building uh, substantially above the minimum energy codes, New Hampshire Saves and the UNTIL program offers financial incentives to encourage and help reduce those added costs. I mean, like New Hampshire uh, Saves is incenting people to do what we should be doing anyway. That's pretty cool. We like what it does for the environment. I think it's the right way to spend our natural resources. It's better for the planet. It's better for the next generation. It's, and it's a higher quality home. I mean, it's the right thing.